This is a review of graphing quadratic equations in the standard form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. As you can see, we have an equation y equals 1 half x squared plus 4x plus 5. First thing we need to be able to do is to label a, b, and c. To do that, we're going to use the equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which means a is 1 half, b is 4, and c is 5. After we label a, b, and c, we're going to find the axis of symmetry. The formula to find the axis of symmetry is x equals negative b over 2a. We're going to use that and plug in the values. So b was 4, so we have negative 4 over 2, and then a is 1 half. So negative times 4 is negative 4. 2 times 1 half is 1. Therefore, my axis of symmetry is negative 4, so x equals negative 4. The next piece of the puzzle we need to find is the vertex. To find the vertex, we're going to use our axis of symmetry, which is x equals negative 4, and we're going to plug that back into the problem. To do that, we take the original problem, the y equals 1 half x squared plus 4x plus 5, and plug in negative 4 wherever we see an x. As you can see here, 1 half parentheses negative 4 parentheses squared plus 4 times negative 4 plus 5. We then do that calculation out, so we have 1 half times 16. Remember to do the parentheses first, then the exponent, so negative 4 squared is 16. And there, and then we do multiplication, and we get 8 minus 16 plus 5 ends up equaling negative 3. So y is negative 3, so therefore my vertex is negative 4, negative 3. Once we find the vertex, the last, next thing we're going to look for is the y-intercept. So we're going to have the y equals 1 half x squared plus 4x plus 5, still a, b, and c is still there. The y-intercept is always in the format of 0, c. So therefore, in this case, it's 0 and 5. Now that we have the vertex and the y-intercept and the axis symmetry, we're going to graph this information. So we go over to our graph. First thing we're going to graph is our axis of symmetry, which is x equals negative 4. So we're going to bring our axis of symmetry over to x equals negative 4. That's right there. Then we're going to graph our vertex. Our vertex is at negative 4, 3. So we're going to take our vertex and go over negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then down 3, 1, 2, 3. So there is our vertex. Then we're going to graph our y-intercept, which is at 0, 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now that we have a, the y-intercept in our vertex, we need to find a second point on the same side as my y-intercept. This way we can make our curve. So we're going to go back to our work over here. To do that, I'm going to choose a point that's on this side. Now, I can choose any number between the axis of symmetry and the y-intercept since they're so far apart. So I'm going to choose x equals negative 2 for this instance. So we're going to use x equals negative 2. But now we're going to do the exact same thing we did when we found the vertex. We're going to plug that back into the equation. So as you can see, 1 half times negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 plus 5 throughout the part of operations and my final calculation. 2 minus 8 plus 5 equals negative 1. So that means my y is negative 1. Therefore, my second point is negative 2, negative 1. So let me go back to my graph. And we're going to graph my second point, which is at negative 2, negative 1. So now we have a vertex, our second point, and our y-intercept. The last step of the problem is to mirror those points over the axis of symmetry so I can get the entire curve. We're going to take the first mirrored point, and we're going to go from our second point. It's 2 this way, so I'm going to go 2 this direction, put a point there. And then my second one, I'm going to take this point, and we're going to go, it's 1, 2, 3, 4 over to this one, so I'm going to go this way, I'm going to 1, 2, 3, 4 over to this point. So now, as you can see, I have my parabola graphed. What we're going to do is we're going to take this, and we're actually just going to connect the dots. And we have graphed a quadratic equation in the standard form.